The family says their call for help ends in the death of their son. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Reck. Officers responded to a call on President Drive in Boiling Spring Lakes this afternoon in Brunswick County. That's where we talked to a family who says officers shot and killed their son. WECT's Casey Cunningham just got back from the scene and is in the studio now with what we know so far. Casey? Craig, as soon as I got to the scene, I talked to a family who say their 18-year-old son, Keith Vidal, was shot by police. They say they called police to get some help with their schizophrenic son, who was having a bad day. But they tell me they never imagined it would end like this. Mark Wisely says the victim is his son. He said he and his wife, Mary, have had to call the police several times for help in getting their son to the hospital so he can get his medication adjusted for his mental illness. They say police tased their son twice and had him restrained. But that's when they say one officer said, quote, we don't have time for this and shot their son right in front of them. They said their son was holding a small screwdriver, but it was not a threat to police. Right now, they have questions for police why this cop killed my son in cold blood. There was no reason to shoot this kid. You talk to the kid, you don't shoot him, you don't kill him. So now, you know, our son's dead because these people haven't got time to talk to a kid for 10 minutes. Now details are limited from investigators, but at this point we know District Attorney John David was on the scene. David says he, along with the BSL police and the Southport police, have asked for an outside investigation. They tell us the SBI is now investing the case, investigating the case. Of course, we'll keep you updated with anything we find out on WECT.com. Reporting live in the studio, Casey Cunningham, WECT News. All right, thanks, Casey. A mother and her son recover in a hospital tonight. Police in Durham found the two suffering from gunshot wounds in the woman's car. Officers responded to